It's cold. <laughs> it's a cool city. Um, it's a neat city. So much history. I was, you know, just kind of sitting there googling, you know, history of Paris way, way back. Um, and it's cool to just, you know, so much culture and history and art and music and food and everything uh, runs so deep here. Um, it's cool to experience it. Is there any kind of adaptation to come and play a game here? Any kind of preparation? Yeah, I mean, you're trying to get your sleep schedule um, on track to be able to be well rested and ready to play. Um, you know, get over the fight and everything. And then, you know, just obviously prepare for the next opponent. Every game right now is important for us. Can you visit a little bit Paris yesterday or? A little bit. A little bit? A little, a little walk around, a little exploration. Got to see the Eiffel Tower a little bit, you know. <laughs> Typical tourist activities. Did you see the first time? Yeah. 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 First time. What's your impression? It's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. More and more talent coming out of Europe and also France in particular. How do you think? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and playing in the World Cup this year not only showed that there's a high level of talent across the world, which which we already knew, but the the countries and fan bases are really passionate about it too. Um, so I, I think it's great for the game. I think it's great for the game, and and it's cool to see you know how the NBA is such a mix of of players from all around the world. Get more stops. It's the name of the game. Um, you know, we're always trying to get better. Always trying to to improve upon what we're doing to establish our identity and our principles. And and you know, with these two practice days and with this game, that's what we're continuing to do. Did you enjoy playing for Team USA last summer? Yeah, I did. Did you want to repeat? For the yeah, you know, it's, it's always an honor. Um, it was an honor and a blessing, and, and to be able to wear the red, white, and blue and represent the country is not something I take for granted. France is bigger and bigger in the NBA. What's your opinion about uh, French players? Very good. I played with um, Elio Kobo for for you know a season back in Phoenix, and you know he was teaching me French. He was mostly teaching me the bad words and stuff, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, a lot of talent coming out of France right now, and, and I, I believe there's a lot more even coming up through the younger ranks where we'll see more and more French players in the NBA. Um, but obviously with guys like Wemby and then guys like Tony and, and, and Rudy that have uh, been, you know, pretty consistent high-level players, there's, there's a very strong French presence in the league. So what's, your, what's the world that uh, Eddie told you? Mm -hmm. Teach you? What's the world? What are the world? It was a long time ago, but they were bad words, so I really shouldn't <laughs> say them in media. What did you think about Wemby so far? He's, play, he's playing well. He has so much, you know, so much potential. Um, he's such a unique player. Uh, the sky's the limit for him. Ken, what do you remember from your World Cup experience? Um, it, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was a it was a unique and interesting opportunity. Um, and it, the thing about it is, you know, there's a lot of disappointment. From our team that we didn't that we didn't win, we felt we had a team that was fully capable of winning. Um, you know, just a couple games don't go your way, and, and that's basketball. But it teaches you a lot of lessons along the way, and you know, I, I'm very grateful for the group that I got to play with. How about FIBA version of basketball? The it's way different. It's, played, the way it's, it's different. It's different. It's very different. What did you like? What did you dislike about it? Uh, the one thing I liked is that there was a, you know, the officiating was different in 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 terms of. You know how they called travels and how they officiated the physicality of the game. The physicality of the game was different. You got away with weird things, and then they call fouls on, on things that you know we're not used to. Um, but the, the referees, on, in that regard, you know they, they 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 really stuck to to that, and so we had to learn from them in, in order to figure out how to be most effective at that level. And so defensively, the looks we got from teams. Uh, you can tell that they were used to that officiating and, and, and were able to take advantage of where they, the physicality was allowed and where it wasn't. And, and we were kind of playing catch up on that end. So that was, it was a pretty you know, unique thing to witness. Are there any things you have learned and used right now in the season? Um, not, not anything crazy, you know, kind of back in NBA mode. NBA basketball is. Uh, a, a very unique brand of basketball, I'd say, and, and FIBA further confirmed that. What is your goal for the end of the season? 
To be in the playoffs. To be in the playoffs, to have a healthy team, and, and to be able to put ourselves in positions to, to be successful and to make noise. Your basketball journey, Yes Network just published something about taking you from Pennsylvania, you've been in the Philippines, now Paris. How do you make time to reflect on what your, where your basketball journey is taking you, or is that something that's hard to appreciate in the moment? Um, when you get caught up in, in everything that's going on, it's easy to kind of lose yourself in the fact that, you know, we play every other day, you're busy, you're always traveling, you know, this trip to Paris takes you completely out of your sleep schedule, there's a lot of inconveniences that come with it, you know. And so being able to reflect and keep the perspective that this is really an honor, that it's, you know, something that not many people get to experience. And you have to be very good to be able to, to, to be in a position to experience it. Um, allows you to feel that appreciation a lot more, which allows you to kind of push through and continue to work and continue to try to get better. And so that's how I think I approach all these situations is that uh, this is what I always wanted to do, and this is what a lot of people would really love to do. So it, it's an honor and a blessing. And then speaking of just the team, and it's and then speaking of just the team right now as it stands, it's been a tough stretch, but it was filled yeah. with games. Yeah. Dennis mentioned that you guys got to get up and down the other day in practice, which yeah. is a rarity. Very. How are you viewing a break in the schedule? Obviously, you still have to travel, but a break in the schedule to kind of regain footing mid-season. Yeah, that, that break definitely allows us some reflection time where we can really dig deep and take some time to kind of iron some things out, which is exactly what we did the last two days. And some, you know, it, it's it's building conversations, tough conversations, where all we're trying to do is figure things out and get on the same page. And I think they're two productive days, so I hope they're beneficial for us. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much.